Just thought I'd show a couple of the boxes fitted to a tree. This is a one of the blue tip boxes. It's probably about seven foot high. It's best to keep it away from any branches and things overhanging it because you don't want other birds sitting on the branches and bothering the birds in the nest. Uh, that's one of them. I'll just show the open boxes for a robin. And as you can see, it's better if you can put it in some kind of cover like ivy or something. You don't want it on a tree out in the open. The blue tip boxes, it's okay because they can fly straight in and you don't want branches around it, but with the open box the robin likes to be in the foliage, so I've put that fairly in, in the ivy as much as I can. I've put this box a bit higher. That one there is just one I made of a tree trunk, but it's not very successful. Uh, there's one up there, as you can see. That one is quite considerably higher um, than the one. I always put them at different heights. You always want to sight them so they're away from the prevailing wind. So normally in the UK that's facing north. So they've got some shelter. You don't want it where the wind's going to blow straight in the hole and get the poor things cold. Anyway, that's a couple of the boxes I've shown outside. Four open box in another tree. Again, it's in the ivy, so they do get some privacy. I haven't had much success with these open boxes for robins. They seem to go anywhere, but in the boxes, I can't understand why. Perhaps they don't like my carpentry. This bird box is about 10 foot high. If you look carefully, you can see the woodpecker's already had a go at the entrance hole. They're, they're a bit of a nuisance woodpecker. I like to see them, but they, they do tend to wreck your bird boxes. Uh, I've only put this one up a few weeks ago and it's already been pecked at. Naughty woodpecker, go away! This is one of my internal boxes. You'll see it's just a plate on the side of the shed with a flap over the top. If you look closely, you can see where the woodpecker's been trying to make the hole bigger. They'll do that. What you can do is just put, a, as you can see here, just put another plate on the front when he pecks it away. I'll just go inside and show you inside. It's the box inside. You can just see it's just a square box bolted onto the side of the shed with a hole on the outside. These are very successful. I've quite a few birds. Every year I get birds in these. This is one of my little sparrow houses. Uh, the wife made me build these for the sparrows so they can roost in the evenings. They've been very successful. We get quite a lot of sparrows in them. I've got three of these scattered about the property. Subject of birds, I thought I'd just show you my squirrel proof bird feeder. It's in a cage with chicken wire around the outside and it's got entrance holes underneath where the birds can get in and also around the sides. It's the only thing yet I've found that will defeat squirrels.